Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be a little bit of some dish about SAS coming up. We did get an official date announcement from Life Inside the Page Daily Finds, so we know the exact date that SAS is going to start this summer. And so I just kind of wanted to lay out some tips and tricks and some things that usually happen around the first week um, that we have SAS, like the first week of sales, what it looks like, uh, what's going on, some tips and tricks about um, what to look for and what to do in leading up to SAS. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it. So the whole thing that prompted this was a post from Life Inside the Page Daily Finds saying yes, and so it begins the excitement for hashtag semi-annual sale, and she posted a picture. So the picture is a date card with June 14th. So write down on your calendar. June 14th is the first day of SAS. Select clearance 75% off. So the back of the card says, new deals and markdowns each week. Your favorites are back. Cucumber Melon, Cherry Blossom, Pink Chiffon, Dark Kiss, and Love and Sunshine. Plus new collections to love. Hashtag we love sale. And then it says, selections may vary, da 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 Offer valid June 14th through July 11th. So it looks like they're going back to the dates that they used to do before COVID um, where it really only lasts for about a month and then they start bringing out all the fall stuff. So I was actually watching a few videos from last year. I went back through and watched my old videos. I watched Tina Marie, I watched Queen of the Girl Geeks um, and I even went back to like 2019 to kind of see what it was like um, before, you know, COVID made everything different. You know, when they used to have everything in the bins Oh my God, I'm kind of scared that they're gonna do the bins again this year. I really hope that they don't because that's kind of gross. I really hope that they continue to do the like clean um, shelving lined up of all of the SAS products. I hope that they stick to that and that we never have to go back to the bins, but it was kind of fun digging through the bins and finding stuff, just maybe not while we're still dealing with COVID. Um, so hoping there are no bins or yeah, I'm hoping there are no bins this year. But um, I went back and looked at some old videos and last year we had SAS last almost three months really. I was still seeing SAS stuff in my outlet store in the mall uh, probably up until like August, like the end of August. And I was actually watching a video on August 2nd from Tina Marie and she found like the new body care collection for the fall with like uh, marshmallow pumpkin latte, strawberry pound cake, uh, the cherry sugar cherry crisp, all of that was out. In, on August 2nd. So I'm pretty sure that they're gonna end up going back to what it used to be like in 2019 and years before that where they really only had SAS go for a month and then they kind of just got rid of it as much as they could and then started with fall. So I think that's what's gonna happen. It's looking like it's only gonna be June 14th through July 11th. Last year it started on June 12th and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into my prediction. This is based off of what usually happens, what I've seen happen both in the winter and in the summer, um, what I noticed last year and years in the past. I did a little bit of digging and some research and this is just kind of like my predictions. So first off, I have 75% off stuff. So usually the first week, there's really not a lot of 75% off stuff. Um, that doesn't really happen till near the end of the sale and probably not until like, I guess, July, late June or early July, um, where we'll get those really good deals. But usually they start off with some 75% off stuff. Um, usually it's like the signature scents. So I'm pretty sure like cucumber melon and all of that will be 75% off at the get go. Um, it's usually some fall and winter leftovers. Uh, there's usually like a lot of vanilla, vanilla me Noel, winter candy apples, stuff like that. Um, definitely all of the seasonal stuff. So Easter, Valentine's Day and Mother's Day, any of that that hasn't been sold out yet will definitely be on 75% off. Um, and if we're lucky, maybe that first collection in the spring um, with the raspberry jam donut, with the coconut cream pie, maybe that collection will be 75% off. Maybe not, um, but it was the first body care collection of the year. So I'm thinking it might be 75% off like on day one, 
but we'll just have to see. And then usually most of the mini body care is either 75% off or like $3 or $3.50 or $2, stuff like that. Um, most of the mini stuff goes pretty quickly, so you'll want to get that on probably day one. Um, and then if you do have an outlet near you, they will be getting a lot of good restocks. So I definitely recommend checking out your outlet. I checked my old videos and I did a regular Bath & Body Works. I think it's like a Bath & Body Works combo white barn store on the second day of SAS last year, so June 13th. And then I also did a haul at my outlet store on June 20th and I found way better stuff then. So I'm definitely thinking the outlet is the way to go if you're looking for some good deals. Um, but that's so far what I think is going to be 75% off. So for 50% off, it's usually like the brand new stuff. So like literally Firecracker Pop, maybe Daisies and Denim, all that new stuff that's coming out this month um, is going to go 50% off. So you might want to wait unless you find it on a good deal. Um, maybe like five dollars or 550 right now I would just wait until it's 50% off and it'll eventually go to 75% off like near the end of the sale but if you're worried about it get it at 50% off at the beginning of the sale but that summer stuff usually starts out at 50% off and then later on moves to 75 um, candles usually start at 50% off um, sometimes you'll get a 1050 candle and then um, the little single wick candles will be like six dollars or 650 just depends. I've even found those little tester candles um, next to the wallflower plugs um, and those go for $2.50. That's at an outlet store. I've only ever found those once. And then this is based off of last year, but uh, the stargazing meditation and all of that in the uh, winter SAS went 75% off right at the get-go. So I'm thinking that the air, water, earth, and fire um, collection of aromatherapy is also going to be 75% off the first day of the sale. That's just a prediction though, so it might not be true, but I think that's what's going to end up happening. And then the other aromatherapy that's like basic and regular, and then the men's body care usually starts off at 50% off. Usually you'll find the wallflower fragrance refills for $3.50 or sometimes $2.50 or $2.00. Just depends. Usually they're around $3.50. So last year at my outlet, I have a few deals that I wrote down that I found. I found some $1.00 mini body care left over from Christmas and fall last year during the summer. I also found $8.00 fall and Christmas three wick candles yes and that was at the outlet okay so you really got to go to your outlet stores because it's some good stuff um there was also three dollar hand soaps it was like a mixture of three dollar 350 and 450 hand soaps just depending on when it was like the spring and summer ones were like 450 um, but everything else was like three dollars and then most of the summer spring body care minis were two dollars at my outlet so yeah it was kind of like a mixture of a lot of things but I think that's everything. Usually the hand soaps, you'll find um, that they don't go like too much on sale, but there is usually like a rack of like $3 hand soaps. Um, so that would be really good. I'll definitely be looking out with for restocking hand soaps because I am dangerously low. So that's everything for my predictions. Now I'm gonna get into some sort of tips and tricks that I can pass on to you guys because I've been going to these SASs pretty much every year since high school. And um, here's a little, tips that I picked up here and there. So definitely the first thing is go to your outlet if you have one near you, even if you have one a few hours away. I honestly think it's a good good trip. Um, make it like a fun little day trip with your girlfriend or something and go down there and find some goodies because you really will find some goodies. And um, so the outlet is tip number one. Tip number two is to actually wait. So this is actually kind of like go the first day and then if you don't find what you want on the first day, wait a few weeks. So don't buy things at 50% off unless you are like dying and you know that it'll sell out. Like maybe your store has one of them and they're only 50% off. Okay, then buy it. But um, the 50% off is not a good deal in my opinion. Um, even if you have a 20% off coupon, I don't think 50% off is a good deal. I only want to buy 75% off or like the $3 hand soaps or the $8 candles. Like I don't wanna buy 50% off stuff. So in my opinion, I think it's better to wait until that stuff goes 75% off. So I think you should go on the first couple of days Definitely go in the morning, go first thing in the morning, right when they open it, be waiting in the line outside because it gets crazy later on in the day and nobody wants to be pushing, shoving, smelling 
uh, especially during COVID in the middle of the day. So don't do that. <laughs> Definitely go right in the morning or actually even go right before they close because there's actually not a lot of people there. I've done that a few times before for SAS where I go right before they close, like maybe at 7.30 and they close at eight. Try that because that actually has worked before. You may not find as many good finds, um, but you will, you know, you'll be in a store with a lot less people. But I definitely recommend going early, being like the first one in the door. That definitely helps finding the good stuff. And go the first few days. And if you don't find what you want, then wait a few weeks and go later. So I think I'm probably gonna go the first few days and definitely record and stuff. Maybe not buy as much, maybe just buy minis um, and wait for other things to go 75% off and then go later on. Um, but that's that's my biggest tip is to wait. 50% off is definitely not a good deal. Okay, my other tip is to download the Bath & Body Works app. So. It is called My Bath and Body Works. Here's my little account so you guys can see. Basically, when you sign up for this, you get a free welcome reward and it is a 20% off coupon and I think maybe free shipping. Not positive, but yeah, 20% off coupon for signing up. And if it tells you that your area code doesn't fit with their program, just type in 90210 because that's the one that I used and it worked. So um, my store doesn't take the reward card. So like you should be able to show your barcode just like you do it like the Chick-fil-A drive through you scan your little QR code. They should be able to do that. But unfortunately, my store in Texas does not allow for the rewards card. Um, but I have used my the same credit card that I use online to make purchases with my rewards program when I'm signed in online. I also use it in store and it transfers my points over. And also, if you have done a few uh, purchases in the past and you weren't signed up to this reward program, you can go to their help center um, to their little like support chat at the very bottom on the website and ask them to add that order to your rewards program. So I did that actually whenever the Easter haul happened, I did it on like my phone on the way to my aunt's house. So I wasn't logged in or anything. And then a couple days later, I got them to transfer those points over to my account. So it's really useful. And if you're gonna be spending a lot of money, it's really good to have the rewards program because for every I think it's every $75 you spend. Yeah, for every $75 you spend, you get one free item up to $16.50 value. Um, the only bad thing is, of course, you can only purchase the stuff online, but now we have the purchase online pickup and store option, so it's even easier. You don't even have to pay for shipping. But yeah, last year, I think for, um, for winter SAS, I had like four, four free items in my rewards program. And for summer SAS, I had also like two or three free items because I had just like spent so much money. Um, so I definitely recommend the rewards program because you can get a lot of free items. If you already are spending the money, why not get your free items as well? So that's another tip. Definitely sign up for the rewards program before SAS. And then the last tip I'm going to tell you is to not buy this month. Honestly, it's not worth it. There's new stuff coming out. Yes, it's so exciting and fun, but it's gonna be 50% off at the first day of SAS. So why bother buying it full price or even for like the buy three, get two free for the body care deals? It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. So just don't even think about buying this month because everything's gonna be on sale within the next month and you're gonna feel bad for paying full price. So just slow your roll on buying all the new stuff right now because it's literally gonna go on sale next month. Don't worry about it, you'll get it at a really good deal. Okay, and that's everything for my SAS kind of rundown, tips and tricks and predictions. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below some of your best and craziest finds for SAS. I'm really curious to know what are the best things that you guys have found. I think my best thing that I've found is the $8 um, three wick candles at the summer SAS last year. Oh my God, I'm gonna die if I can find those again this year. That would be crazy, that's such a good deal. So yeah, that's everything for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.